Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying a stew apt tarpon fly. I've been catching tarpon for years, very simple, very effective. Very, you know, soft landing, nice gentle presentation. Ideal really. As always, I'll stick a materials list in the description for anybody that wants to look at it. I'll also include a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel. Um, and that'll also get you access to the monthly fly tying classes and enter you into the giveaways. So I've got my hook in my vise, it's a size 2 SC15 Gamakatsu. And I've run on some fire orange or fluorescent orange UTC 210 denier. And I've come around the bend a wee bit and I'm going to build a hump basically. Um, this wee hump at the back, it gives you a nice fluorescent tag. Um, and it also gives you something to sort of. tie the hackle tail against which splays the feathers and helps to prevent them fouling. That looks no bad. Now, this does no harm, I just put a wee bit of cement on there just to protect it. It's a nice thin cement and it will just soak in and then it'll be ready by the time I've prepared the hackles. So, the tail or the wing, whatever you want to call it, um, a lot of people call this the wing on the key style flies, um, although it's coming out the back, is saddle hackles or neck hackles. And I'm taking two yellow, and one orange per side. If you're tying a bigger fly, you can go at three yellow. You can you can beef it up a bit. And I've laid them. I've got the yellow. They're going to be on the inside of the fly, and the orange on the outside. And the curve coming away from the hook. So one. Two hook lengths is plenty. Just, I'll just set that up. Just judge that. There. I'll do. It. And then I'm just going to take my original fly, just to make sure. Same length. Just cheat this in a wee bit so they're all the same. And then I'll do my other side. Same again, get your two yellow feathers. And you can, by all means, use neck. Um, it's a good way if you've got like streamer necks, you can use some of the bigger feathers off the back. The neck hackles are a bit stiffer, uh, so they move differently in the water. But it's just personal preference, really. And then just check your hackles, make sure they're the same length. Pinch them on. If you can gather and wrap. Check the position, that looks okay. Then I'll just wrap back until I hit my bump. I'll actually take away the waste pieces now. Just to get in my weight. Now you can pinch these so they don't roll. And you'll see you'll just get there 
and that will kick them out a wee bit. And you can still sort of manipulate the stem, get them how you like it. Just tidy up. Then I'll grab my collar hackles, two kind of webby, not slapping, but kind of webby hackles. And these have actually got quite nice soft stems. So I can include a wee bit of the soft fluff at the back for a bit more mobility and a bit more movement. One orange, one yellow. On the bigger fly you can increase the number. If you're thinking like a four out. Trim that off. Let's get it tied in. And I've tied these in the good side of the hackle is facing me. So that when I wind it the fibres want to slope back. And then it's just a case of I sweep them as I go. And so the collar's going to finish here, right, just in front of the hook point. But in order to help with the shape and a bit of density, I'm going to keep coming forward a two or three turns, I would say. Maybe about that's good. Maybe about three and a half or four there. It will depend on your hackles really as well. Tie them off. Trim away your waist. And then just get a hold of everything. And just tie back until you're about just ahead of the hook point. Something like that. And it's just a case of tidying up. And build a bit of taper into this, you know, like smooth taper into the head. I mean the fish probably don't really care but um, you're getting a, if you do like this, you're going to get a nice looking fly and it'll also be a bit more durable. If the head's all bumpy, it's, you know, like a, stick, a lump that sticks out is easy to rub away. And I'm tying a really long whip finish there so that it just sort of disappears into the taper of the head when you tighten it. And obviously when it's that long, it's, it's very, very secure. And then, to finish the fly, I'll get three coats of head cement. First a thin one, that will penetrate all the thread wraps. And then a couple of slightly thicker coats. But that's the fly done. So, I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give the like button a bump. And I'll see you for another video.